Six teenagers who are suing the Northern Territory Government for the way they were treated in detention have had their case brought up in the Supreme Court today. And the lawyer for one of them is pleading for his client to be released from prison. Dylan Voller is the boy behind the mask. Jake Roper was with him when prison officers used tear gas on them while in their cells. The lawyer representing them in a legal case against the Northern Territory Government says he wouldn't be surprised if more stories of abuse in juvenile detention are brought to light. If we only have the footage of those events where the cameras were operating, where they knew the cameras were operating, God knows what happened when the cameras went on. The names of the other four teenagers suing the government have been suppressed, but all six writs were filed before the Four Corners program went to air. There's no dollar figure put on the money being sought, but the teenagers are asking for exemplary damages to deter and punish the Territory Government. Lawyer Peter O'Brien says the now former Corrections Minister, John Elferink, must have known what was going on. He legislated to allow 13-year-olds to be taken to prison. In, he, legislated, he legislated to allow this type of uh, restraint chair, this Abu Ghraib type uh, chair to be uh, used legally. Dylan Voller has since turned 19 and his lawyer says he's now in isolated custody in Darwin's adult prison. He says due to the systemic abuse suffered by Voller, the young man should be released from prison immediately. Stephen Schubert, ABC News.